Good morning, guys. I am just here with my little girl who thinks she can write on my little to-do list. Um, excuse me. Here, I'll get you your own sticky pad. Mommy will get you your own sticky pad so you don't mess up mommy's list. Yeah. Here you go. Since you are so obsessed with being a big girl and writing with a pencil. No, this is mommy's. That's mommy's. This is Gigi's right here, okay? Okay? Anyways, good morning, guys. Um, today is... Wednesday, October, not October, Wednesday, November 8th, and there is also a ladybug on my ceiling right now. So I usually don't like to start the vlogs until I'm like ready. I did my makeup, my hair, I'm dressed and whatnot, but honestly, like, I, I just don't, I don't want to do that today. I'm actually thinking that I'm trying, I'm going to try and not wear makeup for a little bit i'm actually breaking out right now and the reason that i'm breaking out is it's all due to hormones i've said this before but i have like hormonal acne i'm pretty sure because it only this only really happens around like my time of the month and it doesn't really matter what i do for my face it still will break out i think i'm gonna try patrick like made this bet with me saying that like i wasn't i couldn't wear makeup i couldn't not wear makeup for like a week um, and I kind of want to prove him wrong. It is now hours later. I ended up getting ready today. I didn't think I was going to, but I just put a little bit of makeup on. I actually didn't do my hair. This is just blow dried. I just blow dried my hair from being wet. So it's not like completely straight, but it's, it's whatever it is what it is. I wanted to talk about something and show you guys something really super cool and exciting. I'm so excited I found this, but I don't know if any other moms are horrible about printing pictures, but I have so many pictures that I want to get printed of Graceland, but I just never printed them. One, because printing can become like super, super pricey if you're printing like, mil not millions, but if you're printing like hundreds of photos and whatnot. And two, it's just like very tedious and time consuming. And that's what I just, that's why I've held off on printing literally any picture. I mean, I do have a couple, but most of the pictures of Graceland I don't have printed. I just still have them on like hard drives or like um, USB things on my computer that I can look at them. And it's just been really hard. So anyways, I found this amazing website which has made things so much easier for me. So I'm actually working with chapbooks in this video. So what chapbooks is, is it is the easiest way to create professional photo books, albums. So I want to show you guys my chapbooks that I ordered. I wanted to start making like little books like this slowly and gradually over time. And what's so nice about these is these are so cheap. So they do start at $10 and they go up depending on what you get. You can get a soft cover, a hard cover and all of that. It just really depends on how you do it. But I believe this one right here only costed me 10 bucks, which is awesome. I did this one themed on like Graceland's first year of life. Any professional pictures I got of her in her first year of life, I did. So this book right here, and I just wrote in it too. You can see right here on the front page, I just put Graceland Elaine Rose, um, one year old. I just have all of her like look at all of her pictures from her one year photo shoot. I finally have them printed out and it's nice because it's all in this book. I don't have to worry about putting them into a photo book or worry about storing them somewhere. They are just all nice and compacted all into one little book right here like this. I love these, these are my favorite pictures. And then I also did her 18 month old pictures. I just wrote the same thing, Grace Lillian Rose, 18 months old. And I just put all of her 18 month old pictures in there so basically I just wanted to start slowly making books um, you guys can see so it's awesome I love that this little tiny book holds so many memories of my sweet girls smash cake photo shoot that she did and then just the ones from her 18 month pictures I, I just I love this idea of these little tiny books where you could just make a book and put everything in there and you don't have to worry about anything else it is so 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 easy to make it it literally took me like 10 minutes to make that you can do it mobile or you can do it on the computer if you do it mobily you can upload the picture straight from your phone or straight from social medias however you want to do it it is so so easy and I highly recommend any of you mothers or anybody out there who's struggling to get pictures printed to try this out because I do have a 20% off coupon code for you guys which is awesome like I said they start at 10 bucks 20% off of that would be eight bucks and eight bucks to get a whole book 
full of your favorite pictures and memories is awesome. So if you guys do want to try it out and have a cute little photo book or several, I, like I said, I plan to order tons of these because I have so many pictures and stuff and I'm going to kind of organize them into books, like do them by years and then do them by like the months and all of that. I have a lot of books that need to be made, but I'm so excited to make them. If you guys do want to try it out, I highly recommend it. I'm so, so, so happy with this. I'm so happy I found this website. I cannot say it enough. I will have a link down below in the description and then you guys can use my promo code, which will be on the screen right here. I will also have it listed down below. Again, that will get you 20% off so that you guys can get your own chapbook. So yeah, thank you so, so much to Chapbooks for sponsoring today's video. I seriously think this will be helpful for like a lot of you guys. I just feel like, I feel like a lot of us moms specifically like slack on this kind of thing. I know my mother personally, like she slacks on it too. So hey mom, go order our chapbooks. Use my 20% off code. But I feel like this is gonna be super helpful for a lot of you guys. So that's why I did this. I thought this would be a great thing to share with you guys. So, yeah, anyways, it is almost time to leave here kind of not really it is 1 30 i actually have to go pick up um uncle fencer from school and then Graceland is actually gonna be staying back with her dad today because i i need a break um i just want some time to myself and i am going to get my car um maintenance done so i'm going to get like the first maintenance appointment oil change and all that and i really don't want to bring her because she will be having to wait for however long it takes i don't know maybe 30 40 minutes i really don't know how long it takes i am bringing my dad along with me because my dad wants to come with me so he can show me yeah i've never taken my car to get an oil change guys i've always had my dad do it for me but now that i have my own brand new car now and um and i have to take it to the hyundai dealer because of my warranty i have to get all my maintenance done there my dad is gonna like kind of come with me this first time and show me things and stuff I could do it by myself but my dad is nice enough to come with me and i'm not gonna say no to that because i would love for him to like kind of explain how things work and everything and also just to have somebody there while i wait for my car to get done i don't know we will see how the day goes okay i'm here for my uh maintenance and i'm with my my dad but i'm just waiting no just waiting november. no shave november <laughs> my dad's participating in no shave november okay guys I am done with my oil change. I'm like so out of breath because I just ran in my parents' house really quick. I just dropped off my dad. Thank you so much to my dad for coming. It took like, I think it took like about probably around 40 minutes. So we just sat in the waiting room area and just talked and I bought hot Cheetos and a Mountain Dew voltage drink. I know so unhealthy, right? But it was very tempting while I was staring at the vending machine. So that is done like 40 bucks later i got my oil changed and then i'm pretty sure my tires were rotated i think that was my first like maintenance checkup for my car because when your car every like 3,000 miles since i do have the warranty for my car i have to really keep up with like the maintenance on my car or else my warranty will be voided and i definitely want to keep my 100,000 mile 10 year warranty like going in case anything ever happens to my car so i really wanted to keep up on it so anyways that is done and out of the way um it is now four o'clock her son was napping when i left she woke up at seven o'clock this morning she's been waking up so early because mostly because she's been going to bed early but she's been waking up at like seven o'clock every morning by um my dad just waved to me but she's been waking up at like seven o'clock every morning which means like like last night i did do you guys hear this that's my old car by the way uh i'm having memories of how much trouble this car gave me hey i thought you fixed the alarm on that do you guys hear this? This is what this car used to do to me all the time. Remember when you rigged the alarm on that? Remember when you rigged the alarm? Do you guys hear this? Okay, I'm gonna leave. I'm definitely leaving. Bye car, I do not miss you. Yeah, I don't know if I ever told you guys on the vlog, but at one point, it was like right when I moved into my apartment, I think I did talk about it, but my car alarm would not stop going off on that car. My dad ended up having to like, my dad actually, he took it to Kia whenever this was going on and they said like there was nothing they could do about the alarm or something, they couldn't disarm it. Like the alarm basically just needed disarmed, but they couldn't disarm the alarm. So my dad ended up rigging the alarm to like trick the car into thinking that 
the doors were always open so the alarm would never set don't ask me how he did that i don't remember some like scientific method he did but i don't know why that's happening now unless like it became unless what he did like he unrigged it i don't even know what i'm saying but that's the explanation as to why that was going off so i for sure need to go i for sure need to go to the grocery store at some point i hate how dark it gets guys it's four o'clock and it's already getting dark outside like that is ridiculous but i might just honestly head into some stores some retail stores because i wanted to look at the christmas trees because i do want to get a new christmas tree this year because i'm not dealing with my five foot fake snow christmas tree anymore it's just way too messy and i also want to get like an actual nice big not huge but big tree that uh, we can have this year so that's what i'm doing and yes showing off don't wanna have to wait tonight Wait tonight Bets are off I'm gonna find my way tonight Wait tonight Won't you talk to me? I wanna heal your sorrow Won't you talk to me? We'll make a new tomorrow Won't you talk to me? One night to find the answer Won't you talk to me? talked about how much I dislike coming into the post office because the people there are just so rude like between the workers and the humans I don't know why but it's like the humans that go into the post office to send off mail are like mad like they're just angry at life and I don't understand why everybody is so angry in the post office like all the time the workers are always so rude like you literally could be so nice to them i'm i'm nice to everybody i'm always nice i always have respect for people the guy i walked in there and the guy was waiting and i don't know how long he had been waiting for i'm assuming it was like maybe three minutes and he was like hello is anyone here today i'm standing here i don't know maybe it's just me but that's completely uncalled for to do that like dude if you really can't wait here for like three or five minutes for somebody I mean I get that's kind of like out of like it's kind of a little bit inconvenient but like chill out dude over some stamps like all he was getting was stamps it's not that deep and then he like treated the girl so nasty like just this guy was like six years old I, people complain about millennials being rude and disrespectful but honestly the most rude and disrespectful people i always see are people that are like over the age of 50 it's kind of funny and then also the lady in there like i was so nice to her i was like hi um like i have like when you like you have a peel box if you have parcel it means like you have big boxes that they have to go get in the back because they don't fit in your peel box and i was like i have parcel for my box and then she was like I think that's how you say it, parcel. I don't know if it's not, but whatever. And then she was like, let me go grab it. And then like, I thought she would like meet me outside where like they usually like meet you outside the door and just like hand it to you through like this little like hole. And she just like brought it to the desk and like threw it on the desk and didn't say anything to me. And then I came in there and I was like, do I have to sign or anything? And she was like, nope. And then I like grabbed it and I was like, okay, have a great night. No response. So honestly, like just be nice. You don't, people don't understand how being just nice and just respectful is so much better than being so angry and mean and rude and nasty towards people. Like we need, we need to be kind to each other guys. It's not that hard, just be kind. Anyways, I checked the peel box. I didn't think I would have anything in it. I just wanted to check it cause it's been like a month or so since I checked it, but I have two boxes right here and then I think I had one letter. So I don't ever expect you guys to send me stuff, but I'm super excited about these boxes. I was not expecting them at all. So thank you so, so much to whoever sent these. I will figure it out later um, and I will go ahead and I will open these up later. Okay, I made I it to a couple stores. I don't know how many I'm gonna run in, but I'm definitely running in Marshalls right now and I'm not bringing my camera. So I will check back with you guys when I'm done. Okay, so I did not find anything in Marshalls. I don't know why I just was not feeling that store either. I feel like, I don't know, whenever I feel, whenever I don't have Graceland, I just feel like so out of place. <laughs> like, I just like, it's not as fun, which is like crazy to say because like, I'm free. I don't have to worry about my little toddler running around, but I just, I feel weird and I almost feel bad sometimes not being with her. So like, I don't, sometimes, sometimes I do enjoy it, but like for some reason when I was in Marshalls, I just like couldn't enjoy it and I just like left. I was like this, I don't know. 
maybe because it was kind of busy and I don't not like when stores are busy but I'm at Burlington I'm actually on a hunt for like a new winter coat I don't know if you guys remember my coat my Michael Kors like puffy coat from last year that always had foundation on the neck and you guys would always dog me about it um, that one is just like it's gotten so nasty like I think it's been through two winters now So I just I really need a new one and I looked at Marshall's but didn't really have much of anything So I'm gonna look here and then I'm also just gonna browse around a little bit But my main goal is to get a new winter coat for myself and By the way, if you have not realized yet basically this vlog is just gonna be me and me talking and that's probably about it. So Sorry, if you guys look at Gigi. I just pulled up and got home and look at her. She's me through the window. Oh, now she's going to get me out the door. Hey, hey, hey. Hello, did you miss me? What are you doing? Are you guys gonna give me a hug? Give me a hug, give me a hug. Oh, okay. <laughs> give me Bess. Bess. Mommy has to get the stuff out of the car, okay? He's like, no. Okay guys, it is the next day and I never finished the vlog last night because I really don't even know why I didn't finish it. But this is not a cute angle, hold on. Just the coats in the background did not look cute. Anyways, hope this is fine, whatever. If it's not, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the packages that I got in the P.O. box. Um, so the first one right here, says it's from Amazon Prime. Okay, it says, hi Olivia, I hope this is helpful to you. I thought you could use it to store extra clothes for you and Gigi since she vomits often. I have one and love it from Sarah Scully. Ooh, uh, thank you so much, Sarah. Oh, cool. Oh my gosh, that is so neat. Yes, honey, it's a trunk boot organizer. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so nice. So you basically just strap it on like the back of your seat in the trunk and you can organize all your stuff back there. That is so nice and yes, especially for my vomit prone kid. And then this one says, hi Olivia, hope this fits GG. Okay, this looks so adorable, whatever this is. Oh my goodness, let's see what this is. Oh, so cute, it comes with a little ponytail. Okay, so it comes with this little ponytail with a little bow on it which she'll have to grow out her hair a little bit more to wear that. And then, oh my gosh, this is adorable. And yes, this is going to fit her. Look at how cute this is. It's a little dress with a cute little bow that you could tie her hair up in. I think this might, this honestly would probably fit her right now. If not, then it would probably fit her more towards like springtime because it is a 4T. She's in 3T some stuff and then 4T some stuff. So thank you so, so much, Sarah. I really, really appreciate that. That is so cute. Holy moly. Oh my goodness. Dear Olivia and Gigi, I really enjoy watching your your all's channel. You all brighten up my day so much. I can't thank you enough for that. I really enjoy your shopping vlogs because I live in a small town. I live in a small town in Virginia that don't have the stores you do, and I love watching Gigi having a conversation with you. I really hope you like all the gifts. I really enjoy making people smile. Jennifer. Thank, thank you so much, Jennifer. So she sent us. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. She's going to love these. So these little two plushes. So there's a Shopkins little plush, and then there's this little snail. It looks like it's a a scooter his name is scooter and i believe he's a little snail those are super cute these are the surprise moles for gg so you must just open these oh and it contains one stuffed animal so those will be fun for her as well and then oh, look at this pillow you guys oh my god this is gonna go in graceland's bed oh my god there's two of them oh my gosh maybe i'll put these on my couch like in the summertime these could be like my summer couch pillows. Those are so cute. Uh, oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Jennifer. That is, that is so sweet of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you times a million. Okay, so honestly, guys, I know this was a short vlog, but I think I'm honestly just going to go ahead and end the vlog right here. I know it was a short and really boring vlog, but sometimes that's just how my days are. So thank you guys. So, so much for watching i really appreciate every single one of you guys thank you again to the wonderful ladies who sent us gifts and letters and yeah thank you guys again so much and we will see you in our next video bye